The year is 1989. You're with your friends, driving through the drizzly West Midlands in search of an illegal warehouse party. This is the subject of a new virtual reality documentary that tells the story of acid house music and the early days of the rave scene in the UK. First, you get kitted out with a VR headset, a haptic suit to feel vibrations, and handheld controllers that help you pick up objects in virtual reality. Then, the search begins. The meet point was where we would all meet up for the first stage of the rave. Sometimes they would give a false location so you could get to the other location without the police attending. So my name's Tim Godwin. I'm a retired West Midlands police officer and in the late 80s I was seconded to the Acid House Squad. Mm -hmm. This is an experience where you feel like you're actually there. You're hearing from people, the documentary is all around you, it's multi-sensory, it's interactive, you can feel the music. In the era before mobile phones, finding the rave was as much a part of the experience as the event itself. Hello, this is Amnesia House. Tonight's massive party will be taking place at schedule. We... I guess my memory of those warehouse parties, first of all, was finding out about them. Um, then the kind of excitement of finding the location. Um, then is the party going to happen or is the party going to get closed down? Um, and then going through that kind of that whole cycle of anxiety to finally getting in to the space and then, you know, there's just a, a release of adrenaline. At the heart of this piece is nostalgia. It's about bringing the past to life. But using technology to recreate memories and historical moments comes with its own set of challenges. Obviously, if you actually recreate uh, anything from your memory or from reading material from pictures, you are doing it with your own subjectivity, right? But technically, there are ways to actually just scan some real objects or find data that you have stored historically and try to recreate those objects more realistically. To be dancing and hugging and sharing and supporting each other, I just wish that I could go back the advent of VR has given directors new ways to immerse viewers in history. But at the same time, it's almost ironic that it takes advanced technology to help us experience a time before smartphones. Artina Chippen, Sky News.